our minds are actually pretty powerful. They are. We can accomplish a lot. Yep. Can't we? The Mindset of Wellness. It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 152. In the Hunt for Wellness podcast, we talk about mind, body, and spirit because that's what people are made of. They're made of a body, a mind, and a spirit. And we want each of those to be fully functioning, fully nurtured, to live a healthy, full, living your best life. Hello, welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I am John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines providing great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. Okay, my mind is all ready to be set. Good. For good wellness. Yes. So what What do you think mindset is? actually is well i know mind over matter so i i think we have very strong minds our minds are actually pretty powerful they are we can accomplish a lot yep can't we we can we are yes we're doing it we are doing it so for wellness i mean i you know i guess when i think about the mindset of wellness it's just thinking about the right things so that you can be well how's that sound that that that's great. I guess we're done now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. You probably have a better definition than I do. Well, m- mindset's like mental attitude or inclination. Okay. Um, and it can be a set of beliefs that you believe on shape how you make sense of the world or yourself or, you know, what's going on around you. Yep. Um, it can be influenced by your upbringing. Mm. Um, often it's more caught than taught. Yep. Well, you know, a lot of times you hear like those, you know, rah, 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 motivational speakers who, you know, get your mindset right. And, and there's some good to that. But, you know, sometimes rah, rah, rah doesn't work, does it? Right. You, you have to be realistic. Yes. But you can be realistic and be negative or be realistic and focus on the positive side. Yeah. But and look at all the sides. Right. You know, I'm not just saying avoid negativity completely right um because well, acknowledge we, it's there but yeah you know you don't have to think about it well we live in an imperfect world and so tough stuff happens that's right and you know that's okay we have to actually accept those tough things right i guess so we do <laughs> <laughs> what if i don't want to <laughs> I know. Well, a lot of times we don't want to, but we... Well, what do they say? Every, with every cloud, there's a silver lining. Yeah. You know, or I think my dad used to say, you know, you can't uh, um, uh, can't make something out of a sow's ear. Uh, oh, you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Maybe that's not very positive. Basically uh, saying yeah. you can't take a negative situation, and make it positive. Well, hey, you know, okay, my dad, uh, I loved him anyway. He was he he was a funny guy. I think he's probably just trying to be funny. Oh yeah, I'm and like sure someone else I know. Yeah, you. But right. anyway, okay. So, um, according to the National Science Foundation, eighty percent of people's thoughts are negative. Wow. And ninety percent of our thoughts are repetitive. Wow. That Every means day. Whatever repeating a lot of negative thoughts yes wow and just so you know medical research shows that optimism improves health yeah so if we have an optimistic type of thinking um that can help us and what's the what's the bible verse you know a cheerful uh, heart is good medicine is that was that one of the ones you were gonna hit on or not yeah okay i love that verse that is you know you think about that Mm-hmm. It is, uh, but a broken spirit, or thinking about the negative things, dries up dries the bones. up the bones. And your bones, in your bones, is your immune system. Yeah, you got your bones in your body. You don't want them to dry up. Brittle bones, you break break bones. Yeah, you know. So there's a lot of things that the Bible says yes. to help us. Like the truth will set you free. It will. And that's so true. When we know the truth. Yeah. Um. It's freeing. It is freeing. I mean, 
even when there's tough consequences to it, yes. it is freeing. Yeah, because you kind of know what the outcome is. Right, right. And there's other scripture that guides us like Proverbs twelve twenty five. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, mm. but a good word makes him glad. Yeah. And all that makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. It's not even like just a saying. I mean, that is logical. That is true. Right. It's the truth. And Proverbs fourteen thirty: a tranquil heart gives mm. life to the flesh. Wow. Isn't that true? Like that when is you true. feel yeah. peaceful, you feel full of life. Yeah. You know, but if you're stressed out, uh, that is not life giving. That feels bad. It so, does. Yeah. So, okay. and then uh, good news refreshes the bones. Yes. Good so news we, helps everything. Yeah. We want to give you good news today. Yes. That's, All right. That is what we're doing. And good news so, for your wellness. That's right. This podcast. That's right. So, um, what we're going to do is take Philippians 4, 8 and 9 as a guide. Mm. So finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, mm -hmm. whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such yeah, things. Think about such things. Yeah, this is what we're supposed to think about. That is a great verse. It doesn't even say talk about it. Right. But think about these things. So true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, right. excellent, and praiseworthy. Another and, another verse about, you know, set your mind on things above. There's so many of them, you know, renew your mind. There's so many verses in there that talk about your mind and, your thinking. Mind and thinking right. Yes. And the next verse, the end of it says, practice these things mm. and the God of peace will be with you. Wow. I mean, who doesn't want peace? We all want peace. I know. So... I was going to take a, a health challenge like being overweight okay, and um, kind of take it through this format. So find the good side of overweight. Yeah. The real side, the true side. So if we're talking about what is true, yep. uh, first of all, it's a number. Mm -hmm. Whatever the weight is, that is a number. Right. And we can just, we can decide, oh, is that? really really bad or is that just a number that's a number and i can do something about yeah it. i remember looking in uh i don't know online or something and like what's the ideal weight for someone my height as like the number you got to be kidding me <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i got really close once but boy it was tough it's like wow well they must be dealing with stick people or something <laughs> i don't know but but you know what the the Bible here doesn't say um, beat yourself up. Yes. In any of these things, it, it the next thing um, after right is right after right after true is mm. noble. Yeah, noble. So what's like high? What's on the high side? Mm -hmm. What that's noble. That's like kingly. Yes. Um, what can I do about this? I have agency. I'm capable of change. Yeah. And I'm a valuable person, no matter what the number on the scale is. Yes. I'm a valuable person made in the image of God. Yes. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And God was well pleased yes. when he made man. Yes. So. And God loves us. Yes. No matter what, he loves us. It's a great us. thing. Yeah. So think about what's right so what is right for me to do in this situation that I'm overweight and I would like to lose weight? Um, I can encourage myself to make good choices. Yeah. Eat nourishing foods. Yep. Um, avoid foods that drag me down, drag down my energy, drag down my weight. Bless my body with good choices right. and even pray for friends to do this with and to make it fun. Yeah. You know, a lot of people will s focus on maybe the negative part of trying to lose weight. Oh, I'm going to be starving or, oh, I can't eat what I want. I love, you know, pizza. I want to be able to eat pizza. Don't tell me I can't eat pizza. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, pizza's not the bad thing. No. You know, so focus on the right things. You know, how can I 
eat a good, you want to make a lifestyle change. You don't necessarily want to just say, okay, you know, I'm going to not eat this, 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 and this, you know, for 38 days and blah, 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 you know. Right. Right. Because those things are kind of negative. Yeah. So pure. Think about what's pure. I think when I think about pure, I think about clean, yeah. happy, like sunlight, bright. So think eating about clean food. Oh, yeah. Clean water. And clean water. Our friends at waterdistillers.com will be all over that. Yeah. <laughs> And um, so, and choosing not to think condemning thoughts or negative thoughts about myself or negative thoughts about others. Yeah. Yeah. How about just skip it those altogether? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Lovely. Think about what's lovely. Mm. So God made me. God made people. Right. There are beautiful things in every single person. Right. We might not be seeing those beautiful things all the time, but we can look for them and they're they're there. There's also some lovely foods. Yeah. When eaten in the right proportion. Yeah. Will still be good. Absolutely. And um sometimes it's a time to learn about other things, mm -hmm. other foods or um and other things to do. Yeah. I remember walking into the grocery store and you know how they have those misters going over the, you know. Oh, the, the vegetables. And the, the vegetables were like all color. It almost looked like it was color coded. It was just a beautiful display. And it was, it was lovely. Yeah. And it was all organic and it was, mm, it was. Love that. Nice. Okay. Think about what is admirable. What do I admire about myself? Mm -hmm. Am I thinking good thoughts? Yeah. Am I doing good things? Am I, I'm a kind person. Yeah. I have value. And God loves you. That's right. That's pretty awesome. It is. Excellent. Am I looking for excellence? Am I seeing ex? What is excellent? And what's an excellent way to do weight loss? Or There is no perfect way. And we're not right. talking about perfection. Yeah. Because there is no perfection here on earth. Um, but... But what is something really good? Yeah, and good for you. Because you know, yeah. different people have different things. And, exactly. You know, that's uh, some people lose weight really easily and others more difficult. Depends on your situation, your age. There's so many factors. But what is an excellent way for you to do it? Right, right. And praiseworthy. What can I be thinking about that's worthy of praise? Yeah, well, when you start losing weight, you can praise God for that. Yeah, <laughs> And praise yourself. Yeah. What's that? Praise the yeah. Lord and pass the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's interesting, I thought, is that the scripture doesn't say, think about how bad things are mm. just so you can be prepared. <laughs> right. Or think about every bad possible situation that could happen. Oh, it's like, think about what's good. And I wanted to just take us through another situation, like um, not health. Okay. Because we're not always thinking about health. Right. Um, but like a financial situation, maybe a financial challenge. So you need the mindset for financial. Yeah. So taking it through the same thing about think about whatever is true. Mm -hmm. So the truth would be there is this amount of money in the bank. Right. And there is this amount of money of the bills. Yep or this amount of money of debt. And there's also, what are the resources that I have? Um, right. Do I have a job? How much money am I making? What could I sell? That's right. What other Sounds like options? a Dave Ramsey course. I know, what other options do I right. have? So what is true? Right. Without just judging, oh, that is so bad. Or I made a bad decision. Yeah. So therefore I'm terrible. Right, skip that. Yeah. No, people make good decisions. Every person makes good decisions. Every person makes some bad decisions. Yes. And uh, that's okay. We have to accept that. Okay, noble. What are good ways? What are noble, high good ways to deal with this financial challenge? Yeah. Have faith and tithe. Yeah. You know, because you can't outgive God. Right. Trust God. Pray yeah. to God. I heard an amazing story earlier today about a very difficult financial situation that um, 
with much prayer and action taken after that resolved it like nice. an impossible situation it was essentially a miracle and so hey you never know how things are going to turn out right what are some right ways to deal with this situation obviously cheating is not a right way mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, are cheating people and how dealing uprightly in the financial challenge? Yeah. Or pure? What are pure, uplifting ways to deal with this financial way print situation? Mm-hmm. What are sunshiny ways to deal with the problem? Mm-hmm. I just think of lemon essential oil. Yes. Lemon is like sunshine in a bottle. Yes. Lemon is uplifting. It's also one of the least expensive oils that there is. Yes. That's something to be happy about. It it is. Right. And it tastes so good. A drop in your water, the lemon vitality. Yep. And good for your immune system and uplifting and good thinking, clear memory. So Nice. Yeah. What is lovely? What are lovely ways to solve this problem, like to earn money? And I, I was thinking one way is to become a Young Living brand partner. Yeah, This is a very lovely way with essential oils that smell so good and you can share them with others. You can help people with their wellness, help people with their financial situation. Yeah, really, it helps. That's a, a great way to help someone Yeah, in, a, in a multiple ways. Right, right. And what job do you have that you can help someone else financially right you know um and it smells so good Mm -hmm. in fact just the other day i was at work and someone was like oh my gosh why does it smell so good here yeah (laughs) oh i got some essential oils on oh it's you we have a diffuser in every room (laughs) Admirable. What are admirable ways to solve this? Yes. And how am I seeing other people admirably resolving this? You know, what's a good example? So, and then excellent. What's an excellent way? Brainstorm ideas. Yeah. And what's praiseworthy? Praise God that he's given you the things that he has, a brain, abilities. um, And he is worthy of praise. He will help you. Yeah, and in finances, it all belongs to God anyway, so you're just the steward of it. Mm -hmm. So how can you be an excellent steward of what you have been given? Yes. All right. Are we pretty close? I just wanted to bring up a few more essential oils. Well, of course you do. Because they're so beautiful. They're so lovely. Excellent. They're worthy. They're, they're, They're all they're so good abundance oh my gosh yeah talk the, about mindset ones i know orange There's oils like that yeah it's got orange frankincense patchouli clove ginger yeah. myrrh cinnamon bark black spruce they were these were used though these oils were used by ancient cultures to attract prosperity magnify mm-hmm. joy and peace and actually help let go of worry yeah and we don't want to be worrying because nope. that drags us down Abundance is a wonderful oil. Yeah, it smells great. It does. Acceptance is another essential oil blend with 19 essential oils in it. And it's inspiring, helps you break through personal barriers and reset negative emotional thought patterns. So that is an excellent one, acceptance. Because, you know, some bad stuff happens and we just have to accept that it happened. Yes. We don't have to love that it happened. Right. But just accept what it is and move forward from that situation. And it's like going along with the truth. The truth will set you free. Exactly. Exactly. Um, just along with the our example of weight loss, um, Young Living has a sleek line mm. for weight loss. Nice. So if that is an issue, this may be an answer to your prayer that mm-hmm. you're wondering, how can I lose weight? Um, check out the sleek in a line. very noble way. Yeah, <laughs> sleek S L I Q U E. Yeah, sleek. You know, if you all go over to huntforwellness.com, episode number one fifty two, we'll have links, of course, to all these products, and uh, you know, make it easy for you to just click through. And we appreciate it if you do. Mm-hmm. One more oil. All right. Highest potential. Of course. 
you know, very that high. That goes along with mindset. It, totally. 23 essential oils in that. Wow. Very uplifting. That's a mega blend. Empowers you to connect with God, see your potential, help reach your goals and your dreams by ele- elevating your thoughts and actions. Yeah, so, it's a great one. It is. That's it's, a great one to, to end on, isn't it? Yes. Awesome. End on a high note. End on a high Highest note. Highest potential. <laughs> All right. Well, this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines providing great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com and have the right mindset to come back for our next episode of Hunt for Wellness.